So, now we've done that, we can start. So, it's easy to go and fold it, arrangement, because otherwise it's get confusing what you're doing. So, I know that's where you got to open it. Look. So, you can just do this, so you go 7 zip or whatever you got, extract all, and you want to extract program files, computer, local disk. Program files are just, just a normal one. Extract it. There we go, it should be in here now. And we want to call it. It's here, I should have done that really. Let's put them in a folder. It's probably better to do that. Let's call it. That's what it is. In there. Paste it. Now you want that to go and start up. So all it does is basically make the windows change colour. Um, so it suits the background a bit. You can start button. All programs, and it should be a startup folder somewhere. Here we go. Wait, just there, so you add to create shortcut first, and then you move into there. There we go. Simple. And every time you start computer, it will start. It's only a little program, so it won't take much um, time. And that is it for whatever, whatever it's called. Now we've done that, just close them. You go back to your folder of customization, and now we want to get animations. So slightly different in the um, Windows 10 bits. And when you're closing, minimizing, etc. So, what you got to do first? Install Mimi Visuals. This is really good software because you can't manually change the animations. It's just programmed in that you can't find it somewhere. So, put it in there. Happy with that? Unpack and launch. There we go. Now it's up here. So, look, it's gone. Delete itself. So, Mimi Visuals on. You got to go quick settings, automatic startup. This will make sure it opens at startup. Done that. And once you've done that. You can go, you can left click on it and I'd say, here we go, Windows, Windows Minimizer Store, I'm going to go down and see in a minute, here we go, <coughs> and then you want to select Shuffle on this, you just wait until the bar is unloading it, and you can, you can change it if you want, whatever you want, but that's where it's like in the one of Windows 10's to be now, so if you close it, but you can see it's different already, like this is for when you're copying files and folders. So just open this one, and I'll set everything white, just like in Windows 10 and some Windows 8. I just apply that. Maybe we'll be able to do it in a bit. Right, so we've done that. Now it's the boot screen. This will make your boot screen look like Windows 8 slash 10. It's that simple. Just launch this program here. All the instructions in the back as well, so if you're feeling a bit worried about you know what to do, you just follow the instructions. So just go load the boot screen file, go to the same folder that you're in, and select that one. Just select this lot, and you've got the loading things up. You can try it out and all this, and then all you have to do is click apply. It's going to update all your Windows folders, files, so, and it may take some time depending on your system. And if you don't like that, and you want to go back, just go restore backups, and it'll go back to the original. So easy, easy. Now right, explore time. Right, this is a bit weird because you can go on. Um, you, you can select to have like Windows in Windows Explorer, which part up here. You have got all your things like in Windows, in the Microsoft Office and stuff. You can get back Explorer, which is an external program, but it takes a really long time to start up every time you want to access folders. So it's up to you if you want to do that. And um, to get the Explorer icon in. On the icon of that to make it look like a genuine, and um, just click on the instructions and it tell you. Um, Explore skin. This is this doesn't require anything, but it only works in Windows XP. So you just follow instructions going to do everything in Windows XP. But if you're like me, with Windows 7, 64 bit probably won't work. So um, we just got to deal with this and try and customize it as much as possible. So um, title bar text. This is basically on Windows 8 and Windows 10. You've got the name of the folder in the title bar. So you've got to add everybody.exe into the startup folder. Um, it's a really small as well again. So what you do is uh, just copy it. Oh, no, sorry, that's wrong. Create shortcut and you move the shortcut to the startup folder. There we go. Take that off. Next on our list is the fonts. Um with the fonts. Do these, click install. So 
such as the gas, installing them all. So that's just basic copies. That's an easier way actually. I didn't realise until you could actually do that. After you've done that, you've got that sorted like icons. This is just copying files into places. So what you've got to do in the Um no, let's do pin UI first, I think. Why? This is an icon folder. Icon file, so it's DLL, so Windows, um, local disk, Windows, System 32, let's go down to System 32. And just P, oh, P in, and find, try and find Pinid UI, not Pinip UI, but Pinid UI. It's very easy to, um, here we go. Uh, and what you have to do is take ownership of that. Right, command prompt does a few things. And rename it to Pinid UI, underscore old, just in case you need a backup, which you might, if you want to change your thing. So then you get this, copy it. And paste it into here. And if you're on 64-bit, you do the same. Well, I'll show you that later. But you do the same for um, imageos.dll. So image address. Put I in. I again. <coughs> imageos. Image. In okay, okay, this one take ownership of that easy one. Not need to hold again and copy this one into it. There we go. So you've got your fonts there, and now you should go to um, Windows and System 64, so Windows System Wow 64 basically. Then you go down to um, image address. There should definitely be in here. Image address. Yep, take a look at that again. And copy this one. Actually, I forgot to rename it. I just got old. There we go. You did some image you can find it in here. Yeah, the UI is an existing file of 64, but well, just copy it into it just in case. What? Also, now you tell me, hey? Pinned UI, Pinid, there we are, found you. Take ownership underscore old. And now you copy it into it. Right. <coughs> Next part of this, right, this is the login screen. For this, yeah, it makes your login screen differently. You have to go to system 32 and find the off your eye.dll. So, again, let's go system 32 a off your eye.dll. Right, pick any of that. Let's rename it to old just in case we need a backup. Enter. Now you can copy the new one into it, so if you're on 64 bit, use this. If you're on 32 bit, use this. So 64 bit to copy that into here. You want to find um you want to find it in the if you're on 64, you've got to do a system alpha we're gonna do the same. So a off you I choose some here. Take ownership, rename to the old, I'm just called old, whatever. Now, now you copy this one into there, make repetitive, if you like old, there we go. Now, once you've done that, you can go to Basebird, so banding, in Windows banding, B branding Basebird, Basebird.dll. Basically, this <coughs> makes gets rid of the logo at the bottom of the screen in, in the logo. That's just fine. There we go. Might need to get some recognition from it. Right, and once you've done that now, you can copy the background into um, System32 U folder. Find it. There we go. And in this, you won't have an info folder, so make a new info folder. Um, 
and then in this make a folder called back lines. So this is the one we've got on now. What you want to do is, is the BMP, so you copy this one. Actually, let's need to initial this, make a background. Back the image of it, so on. Continue with that. Copy this into here. And if you want to customize your own background, your image has got to be called background default. In should be in it. It should be called background default. So I'd say this one. It's exactly the same as that. So I'm going to copy that as well. <sighs> Replace. And same with this one. Can you that? <coughs> Alright, once you've done that, you've done your off the UI.dll, your base build the DLL, you can, you must, for this to work, you must go into your edit. So I'll just do editor. And it navigate to HP Local Machine. You'll see the icons have changed already. Software, Microsoft Windows. Software, so Microsoft Windows. Current version without the space. Authentication. Login UI. Background. And here you've got to set OEM background. Set to 1. So you just put the number 1 in. And press enter, right. and that will make let your background actually work. Otherwise, it will still display that background, and it will look odd. So, yeah. So once you've done that, that's done for logon. Now you can get to the next bit.